you know he answers prayers. That's why I'm so glad to get to his house each Sunday. That even in between, we had a brother a couple of Sundays ago. He came up to me and said, I don't want to leave. He said, I never felt like this in my life. He said, but I just don't want to leave. I said, church over. You ain't got to go home. church wanting some more. Amen. 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 And again to walk out of church feeling like you don't feel like leaving yet. Because I don't know about you, but I ain't always been there. I know y'all been saved your whole life. But I, I remember being in a in, in the church. And I'm upset because I'm at church. Because I wouldn't have been there if Mama hadn't made me be there. Amen. And I'm not so naive that I don't know there's somebody here today just like that. He said he, said he was going to sit down 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not on your time. I'm on his time now. We're so busy trying to put God on Kronos time. You know what time that is? That's the chronological time. That there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Seven day, 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week. We constantly trying to put God on Kronos when God not always operate in the chronos. God operates in that Greek word called Keros. What is Keros? Keros is the opportune time. God knows exactly when to do whatever he is doing and he knows we are doing too. So while you rushing me, while you trying to hurry me up, God is operating in somebody else's life. You came to see who was singing today. You came to see uh, uh, who was going to do the scripture and who was preaching. You might have came to see what uh, Sister Lula May wore on today. See if her hat matched her bag. See if when she got to shout her, her wig fell off. You came for the wrong reason. But we ain't tripping. Because you may have came for the wrong reason, but you're in the right place. And there was many days I came for the wrong reason. And I told y'all my testimony. I said, I can't wait till I grow up. I ain't going to church no more. Tired of them making me go to church, making me sing in the choir. Making me do speeches, making me get up and uh, do the prayer and the devotion, making me sing, making me pray. I don't want to do all that. And when I got grown and got out of mama's house, I went on to set that. Yeah. Well, the world started tearing me up. Y'all know they trying to kill me while I was out there. I felt the call of God on my life. I'm not talking about the call to preach. I heard his voice just telling me that he still loves me. Y'all yes, yes, yes. know how when we make a mistake out Thank there you, and our parents are so disappointed in us and they say, maybe I expected that from some of those other kids but not from you. And are we so heartbroken that we disappointed our parents? That's the call I felt in my life from the Lord. God was so disappointed in me. 
I come to tell somebody here today. Yes, Lord. God said he disappointed in you. He didn't expect that from you. But he wants you to know he didn't give up on you yet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. He didn't leave you. You left him. When you felt like you were by yourself, you was going through all by yourself. He was there all the time. Psalm said, waiting patiently in love. You need to know he was there. He was right there. Right there. All the time. Sister Rambo, before you got the call, he was there. Mother Harris, before you went into the surgery, he was there. Brothers and sisters, everybody needs to know he was there. I don't know what you're going through. But God wants you to know he'll never leave you. He has never left you. He just wants you to be happy, to be around him. You haven't always been there. I haven't always been there. But can you take him everywhere you go? Some of us, I love to come to the church. But there was a time that I didn't really want to take the church outside of this building. I want to meet God. We say, I want to meet God in the church, but he ain't got to go home with me. God has to be your personal God. Not just the one you call on Sundays. He wants to be the God through the weekdays too. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And as we stand all over the church, I extend an invitation right now.